The people of Thamud were anxiously awaiting the return of Saleh and their people. Those who believed in Saleh were eager to hear Saleh's victory. However, the Thamud leaders were anxious, fearing that their society was on the verge of a major revolution. With joy and happiness, Saleh came to his people with the camel and her newborn calf. He stood before the people and announced in a voice that everyone could hear, My people, worship God alone, as there is no God worthy of worship except Him. A clear sign has come to you from your Lord. This camel is a sign from God for you. Therefore, do not harm her in the slightest, or you may face a painful punishment. There were nine men from among the leaders who were known for spreading corruption. Their control and power started to weaken as their people started to respect Saleh's camel. They decided to come together and plot to eliminate Saleh. They believed that their people would quickly return to their previous behavior if they could get rid of the camel. They chose the most ruthless and heartless one from among them to take on the responsibility of destroying the camel. The next day, he caught the camel. He then drew out his blade and struck at the camel's throat, daring to defy God's command. Startled and terrified, her calf, which had been trembling beside her, bolted in sheer panic and quickly ran to a nearby mountain, desperately seeking safety. The horrible slaughter attracted the attention of the people. They shouted out so that everyone could hear, O oh Saleh, if you are indeed one of the messengers, then bring upon us the punishment you warn us about. They attempted to convince the people that if the camel truly belonged to Saleh's God, wouldn't that God have protected it? The people agreed and showed strong support. After they finished slaughtering the camel, they lit a fire and roasted its meat. Everyone who was there joined in eating the forbidden meat. Only a small group of Saleh's followers abstained and silently protested by leaving the gathering and informing Saleh, who was unaware of the day's events. Upon reaching the scene, Saleh was met with a gruesome sight that filled him with horror. His hope for his people's rescue quickly diminished. Thamud's evil actions had earned them God's punishment, but God was willing to give them one final chance to redeem themselves. Saleh said, Live comfortably in your homes for three more days. This is a non-negotiable deadline. He informed them that during these three days, they would witness signs of God's power. He said, On the first day, your faces would turn yellowish. On the second day, they would become reddish. And on the third and final day, they would turn blackish. During these three days, if you manage to locate the camel's calf, and care for it as you should have cared for its mother, God may still forgive you. The people of Thamud paid no attention to his warnings or his pleas. That evening, they celebrated joyfully, without a second thought for either. When they woke up in the morning and saw that their faces looked yellowish, the nine leaders persuaded the people that Saleh was trying to deceive them. On the next day, God made the whole city's faces reddish and on the third day, blackish, all in preparation for their final destruction. On the night before the appointed day, God communicated with Saleh and told him and those who believed in him to depart from the city secretly during the night. As dawn approached, a powerful earthquake hit the city, accompanied by a tremendous blast. It was a single, devastating blast that struck them and in an instant, all of them were left lifeless in their homes. Their entire civilization, along with everything and everyone within it, was reduced to rubble. To God, it didn't matter that only one man physically killed the camel. God punished them all because they all approved of the evil act. With his small group of loyal followers, Saleh traveled to the city of Kufa, where his ancestor Nuh had lived many generations ago. There, they started the task of creating a community based on faith, without the stubbornness and arrogance of Thamud. Saleh spent the rest of his life in this city and passed away there.